Hey friends, welcome back to the channel Creatively Sandra. If you are new here, I'm Sandra and on this channel we do all things Disney. Pins, unboxings, mystery unboxings, um, crafts. Today we have a small pin haul. I've got some pin mails. I'm just catching up on kind of the last of stuff that's been sitting around for a while. So um, I've got one that was an eBay purchase and that's the first one we're going to open. And this was... I got one of the pins. It's a Hong Kong Disney pin from one of those pin trading events, I think. And it is a Clawhauser pin of a bowling ball. And there was a whole set of bowling pins that went with it. And I actually, the bowling ball, I just bought it or traded for someone with someone and got home and realized I already had it. And I traded it at a high value. So... I've got to get better at this. So one of the tips um, I will give you, apparently I didn't use it this time or I just missed it, but I take pictures of all my pin boards when I go to pin trading events so that I know what I have. It's funny when I'm trading online and I'm looking at somebody's traders and sometimes I have to run downstairs and look at the pin boards, but I try to, when I'm especially when I'm going to the bigger events, take photos of all my pins so then I can just zoom in on them and see, oh, do I already have that pin? So anyway, I thought it'd be fun to look at eBay for, because I don't see these very often, and try to get some of the bowling pins. I don't know that I'll get a bunch of them because the Clawhauser goes on my Zootopia board and nothing else in the set is Zootopia. So the one I got is Donald and I got him because it was a really good price. And um, I, I know I paid under $10 for it, at least, uh, but I think it was even a better deal than that. So sometimes with eBay or anybody you're buying a pin from, you got to pay shipping and most of the time it's going to be at least $5. So I'm sure I paid, you know, somewhere total between $10 and $12. Let me give you that on a pin board maybe get a slightly better view but they're really cute they're really detailed um i think they did them well they're very dimensional so you can see the how the bowling pin is kind of curved and sticks out and then you've got detail of donald on top of it and it does have his name on there so that is my first pin and that's gonna go i was just peeking to see if the clawhauser pin was around but i think i may have it in my oh yeah it's around here it is so this is the bowling pin or bowling ball that goes with the set. So pretty fun. Not exactly um, scale correct there, but that's okay. All right, the next pin, you guys hear me talk about this often enough, um, discount Disney, discount pin trading. I'll put the link down below. <laughs> but Jenny runs that, um, she runs live sales she does board sales she does a lot more than pins lots of little trinkets um from little miniature collectibles she makes the the um the pens that everybody's doing now with the little adorables on them she does stickers in fact this thing thing here <laughs> this little up picture was made from one of the iron-ons that she sells so let's get into this. I think I only bought one pin from her because it was a good deal and somebody I know was looking for it. All right, so I've got a couple of buttons in here. So you got Goofy, that's adorable. It's kind of like a little Zoom Zoom version. And in fact, I think that's exactly what they are. And um, Marie, so those are cute. She always includes a park map and she's on the West Coast, so it is a Disneyland park map, which is fun. Oh, this is a California Adventure, so DCA. Here is her card. It's Jenny Hagelman. And that's not focusing real well. Her QR code is on there, but I will link her down below so that you can find her. All right, so this was the um, Beauty and the Beast supporting cast pin. So this was one of the very early ones and she had some of these at a very um, reasonable price as well. I actually, it was from a board sale and I picked like three other pins and then they went, bef 
other people's comments got to them before mine did and so I probably wouldn't have ordered this by itself and paid shipping but it is what it is on chance you take on those board sales so but I'm still glad to have it as a trader I won't worry about putting that one on the board because you've seen it up close and then this is from Marcy Mouse who is Jenny's sister <laughs> So she has another channel. Jenny usually does her lives either on a Saturday. Sometimes she does ones during the week. Um, you can get on her Facebook channel and just follow that to catch when she's doing them. This is weird. There's a little packaging thing in here. So I'm sure that was a little mistake. <laughs> and hers, um, so Marcy, Jenny's sister, is on Instagram where she does her live sales and hers are always on Friday nights. And I've got a lollipop here. Everything is also wrapped in a park map. It might be the same park map. Let's see. This one is, nope, this one is Disneyland. And actually it's at the Halloween time. So that's kind of fun. I'll be looking through that. I don't think the map changes that much, but she had some really, really good deals like I got three pins. Oh, one I can't show you. Okay, so this one is for a friend and this is to go in a um, a swap. And so I can't show you that one, but it was another great deal. <laughs> but she had, first thing that got me was this fantasy pin. And this is a very popular yet pretty rare character to see. Um, so when it shows up, people buy and it sells out right away. This is a fantasy pin, so a little bit different, but it was a good price. This is one of the oysters from Alice in Wonderland. And I just thought that was adorable. Um, I have a couple of oyster pins. I've missed out on a lot. I got a really good trade recently with my friend Sarah over at Sarah's Dizzy Magic. And so this one fits right in. I thought it was very well done. It is small. So let me show you up against these other pins. It's a small one, um, it was $13 and that was good for me. So just to compare size wise, you know, it's smaller than most um, mystery pins, but it's larger than like a, you know, tiny kingdom or something like that. Super cute. Okay, and then the other great deal I got was this one for $10. Now these were, um, if you guys don't know, at Christmas time, at holiday time, all of the Disney resorts come out with a pin and so they all coordinate together. Um, I have a couple from last year, last year or the year before when my husband and I were uh, there at Christmas time. And sometimes I go back and I'll buy some of the others when they go on sale, like from past years or show up in a live sale. And this one was a really good deal. It was originally, thir well, it wasn't originally 13. She had it for 13. She marked it down to 10. In fact, I think I got that fantasy pin for 10 as well. Um, like they were slashing prices during the particular Friday live sale. So this one is from the Polynesian Resort. And look how cool these are. I just traded one that was um, Little Mermaid, I think from Beaches, Beach Club. And so this is from 2020, Polynesian Resort. And these were so well done. Um, so you open it up on the inside and I think this is Moana. It is, I think this one's a keeper because I love how bright and detailed the inside of this one is. So, so pretty, love that. So love the blue and the sparkle on there. And then um, of course all the color. Now these, they're a little weird in that I've had them on a regular card, backer card, and as you try to open it, the um, whole thing pops off the card. Like the hinge is a little weird because it has, let's see if we can see this and you guys will know what I'm talking about. When you open the hinge, the bow is kind of in the way. So you've got this hinge, you've got the hinge below like the little ornament round hole where you would put your ornament string in or whatever you'd hang an ornament by. And so when you open this pin, that, can I show you? All right, so you guys see this part up here? When you open it, that's going past the hinge 
Eh, it's not showing very well. But point being, you can't have it on a board and open it. It would push the top of the pin out. So it's always a little weird. I love that they do, um, you know, pins with some motion. That bow was all messed up. Okay, there it is. That's how it's supposed to look. Um, I love that they do pins with action movements, uh, but I do shy away from some of the hinge pins because of of this. Like if, if I have a display board for that movie and I want it on the display board, well, this is all I'm gonna get because you can't, certainly can't leave it open on the board. So not sure how I feel about this, but I so loved the inside. What if I ripped off the top? That'd be like sacrilege, right? Anyway, I won't, I promise. <laughs> but this was a great series. Have you guys seen the series that's coming out or is out now in the parks for the new um, resort pins? So like I said, every year there's a set of them for the holidays and um, those have now shown up. I got a sneak peek back in August when I was at the Magic Happens pin trading event. I think I even have two of them on the way now, thanks to a pickup being done for me. But, um, you know, check those out, look online. They're really cute. They're all stockings. Um, so everybody's in a stocking representing the resort. And I think I have um, the, oh gosh, <laughs> I have Tiana's Port Orleans on the way. And I forget what the other one is. Um, I think the other one I'm getting is a Disneyland Resort that's a Pixar one. I wanna say, does it have Bing Bong on it? Anyway, I'll show you those when I get them. Um, I'll look it up. I have it on um, my uh, Facebook feed from the person I bought them from, so I know I just am forgetting for the moment. So that's it today, just a little haul. Tell me which pin was your favorite. Um, obviously you can't see my secret one, but that was a great deal too and it's a small but mighty this doesn't even count <laughs> haul just a little one today so thanks for joining me for this little haul and i will see you guys on the next one bye